بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على خاتم الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين These are some exercises about section 1.4 uh, Make a rough sketch by hand of the graph of the function Use the graphs uh, uh, in the section and transformations so here we start by the graph of the basic function, which is half to the power x. This is an exponential function with base less than one. So the graph of this function would be a decreasing function and it passes by the point uh, zero one. If we say that this is zero one, so this would be the graph of the function. I notice that the line y equals to zero is a horizontal asymptote. Now this one is vertical stretching and this one is vertical shifting. So we do the stretching first. So we, we graph y equals two times half to the power x. What happened? We are multiplying y by two. So instead of y being one here, it would be two. And the graph would be like this. Of course, the line y equals to zero is still a horizontal asymptote because if you multiply zero by two, it would remain y equals zero. And finally, we can sketch the graph of h of x by taking this graph three units down. And when you take the graph of the exponential function three units down, then this line, which is y equals zero, will be y equals to negative three, and this would be the horizontal asymptote. And the point, the y2 here will be negative one. And the graph of the exponential function would be like this. And the domain here, as usual, from negative infinity to infinity, but the range would be from negative three, the, the asymptote, the horizontal asymptote, from negative three, from negative three to infinity. Here we start by the graph of e to the power x. That's the basic function or the standard function. E is greater than one. So th this is the graph of e to the power x. And now we have two reflections. We can do uh, any one of them first. So let me do this one first. Uh, X is multiplied by negative. So there will be a reflection about the Y axis. So the graph would go like this. And then I uh, reflect this graph, the last graph ab about the X axis to sketch the graph of negative E to the power negative X. So one would be would come here, negative one, the horizontal asymptote will remain the same and the graph would be like this. This is the reflection about this graph about the x-axis. The domain is from negative infinity to infinity, but the range is from negative infinity to zero. Here also I start by e to the power x, the basic function. And then, now this one is vertical shifting, so it's the last thing to do. And I have this one stretching the half, and negative, negative are reflections. So I start by the stretching half e to the power x. If you multiply y by half, then instead of one, the graph will pass by half. And this is the horizontal asymptote. 
then we do the reflection okay so we sketch the graph of uh, I can do both at the same time by imagining if you reflect this graph about the y-axis it would be like this and about the x-axis it would be like this so it will pass by by here by negative half and the graph would be like this okay uh, reflect about the y then reflect about the x or you can reflect about the x first and then reflect about the y the last point uh, we can graph 1 minus half e to the power negative x by taking this graph one unit up when you take the graph one unit up the horizontal asymptote will be y equals to 1 and this point which is negative half when you take it up one unit it would be here and this would be the graph of this function the domain as usual from negative infinity to infinity and the range would be from negative infinity from negative infinity to 1 here find the domain of each function well the domain of the exponential function or real numbers so we have no problems with x square in the exponent but I have problem with the denominator the denominator cannot be 0 so e to the power 1 minus x square minus or equals 1 if you put it 1 this will make the denominator 0 so we need to solve this uh, equation well you can remember uh, that uh, or you know maybe that 1 is just e to the power 0 if you raise anything to the power 0 it would be 1 I have the same base so the powers would be equal so 1 minus x square would be equal to 0 or x square is 1 or x is positive or negative 1 so if x is positive or negative 1 this would be 0 and e to the power 0 is 1 and the denominator would be 0 so we have to remove these two numbers from the domain so the domain of f would be all real numbers except positive and negative 1. Now here, uh, I have no problem with cosine x because the domain of cosine is the set of all real numbers. And cosine x would be always a number between negative 1 and 1. And e... Uh, the exponent of e could be any real number so there is no problem at all with that the only problem that the denominator is zero but the denominator here will never be zero because e to the power x is always greater than zero it is above the x axis so this means that the domain of f would be the set of all real numbers and there is no exceptions here. Uh, this is the end of the lecture. Uh, thank you very much and have a nice time.